The English elm is a very popular bonsai species. It has, as a bonsai, extremely small leaves. It ramifies very well, it means it gets a lot and lots of branches and it takes pruning quite easily. Because of that they make elegant uh, small to very large bonsais and, and even small mummy bonsais. When they're grown as full trees, the leaves can be up to 10 centimeters, between 8 and 10 centimeters long. The leaves are generally longer oval shaped and they're longer than wider oval shaped leaves. They are serrated, singly serrated. The veins are not as pronounced, but they're quite pronounced. Not as pronounced as a beech, but they're quite pronounced. The English elm died out in the wild because of the Dutch elm disease, but as bonsais, they tend to survive because it doesn't have enough mass for the Dutch elm beet beetle to, to invade the tree. So it's, it's a generous way of propagating the English elm and making sure that it's there for posterity. They grow very easily from cuttings, they grow very easily from seeds, so they're easy to propagate. So propagate as many English elm bonsais as you can because one day they may just discover how to deal with uh, the Dutch elm disease and we may have the English elm back in, in the wild. You only need to prune in May, June and then again July, August or September. The branches are a little fibrous so you need to use a sharp scissor so that you have a clean cut. Repotting in spring is as good a time as any. As with most native trees, you can repot any time of the year. Just make sure that you protect the tree having repotted in summer or, or even in winter.